All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. Recovery is, yeah, obviously, has just a monster night. Um, what do you feel like you guys could have done better? Um, is that something that starts early and taking them a rhythm? Is that something that late you could have done something? Just kind of, how do you do that? Well, uh, what, what could we uh, done better on KD? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Uh, you've, been, you, you've been around us like a long time. What do you what do you think? Let's have a conversation. Uh, the first two things that come to mind is you could have guarded him. Me personally? Yes. Okay. What else? What's the second? The second idea would be to double the ball out of his hands. Oh man. Uh, I don't know man. Just keep making it tough. Uh, obviously one of the best scorers to ever play the game. It's kind of it's tough. It's tough, you know. Like he he's the best. He's the best player in the world right now. And uh, we gotta we gotta beat him as a team. We gotta guard him as a team. We gotta make him um, make tough shots like tonight. Uh, and we just gotta keep doing our job. And hopefully, like he hopefully he's gonna miss. All right, that's Giannis. He said, hopefully he gonna miss. Okay. Giannis says KD the best player in the world right now. Ask a reporter if y'all didn't understand it. Ask a reporter, you know, what what would, you know, what what you know, what do you think we would have to do? He says you guard KD and throw up the ball and get the ball out of his hands. And Giannis said, all right. He says basically the best player in on the planet, and you hope you miss. But uh, excuse me, let's talk about it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out anytime if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. Or if you want to donate, I'm well, not donate, excuse me, you want to advertise your business on the channel, cool, okay. My thing is this, man. One, you don't call the op, the opponent, the best player on the planet while the series still going on. If the series is over, or you playing, in, or you watching and you you observing, and he the best, and you like, okay, the best player in the world. But what you got to understand is, sports ain't where it was. 20 plus years ago, okay. Even he got a visitor. Even in the 2000s, in the early 2000s, it was pretty good. But in the 90s, there were blood baths. There were, you know, raw competition. I didn't like you. I didn't like you. Don't like me. But now with all the AAU camps and then football, with all the football camps and everybody cool, you grew up with somebody since you were 12 or 13 years old. How can't you not like somebody? You know, put him down. It's Mr. Mason. Oh, you boy. And I got a big dog. He's somewhere doing his thing. But, um, but yeah, it's hard. You know, it's they, that's they, and also the NBA, they manufacture it like that. You know, you can't yell at nobody. You can't, you don't bump nobody. You can't even, you know, follow nobody for real no more. You know, Rogers went for the ball and swiped Cameron Payne's face and they kicked him out the game. Come on, I seen people get elbowed. I seen Isaiah get his cranium cracked by Carl Malone. What's going on? They making the game soft, you know? And they don't understand that they making it unwatchable. I don't want to see a free throw shooting contest. I don't. I don't want to see a free throw shooting contest. I, I want to see a sport. A sports is supposed to be physical. Sports are supposed to be are supposed to be competition. They're not compete no more. You know, you 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 can't even get Giannis to check KD no more. You know, I ain't trying to think him, but you know, I come on. Why ain't you the defensive? Grant you the two-time defensive player of the year. Gobert won it this year. Why ain't you guarding him? You know what I'm saying? You can't shoot. You ain't making no free throws. Why you ain't guarding LeBron? I mean, guarding uh, Kevin Durant. You somebody that can actually met, match his physicality. Y'all smell me? He's somebody that can actually match his physicality. You know, 
what is Giannis? Seven foot, six eleven, whatever his wingspan is. He younger than him. Seven three wingspan. Come on, man. Kevin Durant do got a seven five wingspan. I think Kevin Durant six ten. So that's my thing, bro. But y'all understand too. There is a. Uh, Okay, sorry, y'all. Sorry. He wants to get up here. Um, there is a disc a social disconnect. He is from, you know, I don't know where he's from. I think he's from over there in Greece. There is a social disconnect. So you gotta remember Giannis didn't grow up here. You know, Giannis doesn't, you know, share our 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 you know, the rules that we got for sports. So that's that's just my opinion. He doesn't share those things and at the end of the day, I think we can't hold it against him. I think you know, I think he didn't. He doesn't know. You know, you hear Shannon Sharp get on him this morning. You know, he doesn't know. Okay, he he just he just doing what he just doing what he do, saying that he the best, giving praise. But you're not supposed to do that in a series. Okay, you're not supposed to do that in a series. But he doesn't know no better. But he gonna learn today. And you know, P.J. Tucker, Chris Middleton, and all them, they should they should pull him to the side. She, they should put him to the, put him to the side, and they should be like, you know what? You can't you can't say that. You wait till after the series. You wait, you know, when you're not in the series to give him praise. You shouldn't say that, and he was wrong. But I don't think he he knew how wrong. I think he was just being honest. I think he was just being raw. I just think he thought he was being nice. Oh, you guard, you just you know do your best and just hope the ball don't go in. Yeah, of course. But you ain't supposed to say it. Whoever they had out last night, I would have trapped KD. Even even up by whatever they was up by, 20, whatever it was, 30 points, I would have trapped him. The reporter was right. Get the ball out of his hands. If Jeff Green continued to beat me, shake his hand. If Who else they had out there last night? Tyler Johnson, whoever else they had out, out there last night, they beat me, shake my hand. If James Harden half half ass uh injury, half healthy self beat me, I shake his hand. Okay. All right. Um Jeff Green had 27 Blake. They beat me, Blake Griffin, Joe Harris, uh James Harden, Bruce Brown, uh Landry Shamick, Mike James, Nicholas Claxton, uh Jeff Green beat me, I shake their hand. I shake their hand. I'm trapping KD. I'm getting the ball out of his hand. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting him get hot at any. I don't care if he's up by 100. I'm not letting him get hot because he's dangerous. And what it boils down to is all because of they coach. Coach Bud don't know how to coach. I've been telling y'all, even when he was in the ladder, he didn't know how to coach. How you defensive specialist and lose a lead? How you let KD get 49, 17, and 10? Come on, how do you let that happen? How do you let that happen? Ask yourself that. If you're a defensive coach, the game plan is to stop KD. That's the game plan. Why you let it happen? Hold on. This man shot 16 for 23. He didn't even miss 10 shots. 4 for 9 from 3. 13 for 6 for the free throw line. And y'all let him do this? Come on, man. And James Harden was a non-factor. 1 for 10, 0 for 8, 3 for 3. He did have 8 to 6, 6 rebounds, 5 points, 4. He was a plus 4. Check check that out. You want to know how analytics, how stupid analytics are? Check this out, man. KD did all that. He was a plus 6. James Harden did nothing. He was a plus 4. That's how stupid analytics is. Right? If you don't believe, if you believe in analytics... There you go. And Jeff Green was only a plus 12. Come on, man. I don't, I don't really understand analytics. They stupid, man. But, uh, but yeah, Giannis not supposed to say that. After the series, he's like, yeah, man, I got a lot of work to do. KD way better than me. Um, you know, he the best. He the best right now. But I'm working. But you don't say that when you're going into game six, a closeout game. You don't say that. You don't say that, man. And like I said before, I think it's a social dis. I just he don't. I don't think he can under. He understands. He understands the ramifications of what he said. 
You know, you don't praise somebody you're still in battle with. You praise them after the battle. You praise them after the war been done. You praise them when you're on the outside looking in, but you praise them after your career over with. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. But I think it's a social disconnect there. But, hey, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, check out the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, query, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way. Then Facebook, then Instagram. All my links there. Facebook group link there as well, too. You can reach out anytime. Hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Good fellow sports TV. Peace.